Hey guys, friends of mine at HDL Tech Solutions have created a pretty cool app, uh, a simulation app for uh, series and parallel circuits. Uh, there is an Android version and now there's an Apple and PC cloud-based version as well. Uh, you'll find it at hdltechsolutions.com. I'll put this link in the comment section below. Uh, and if we click on this electrical troubleshooting simulator, then we'll take a look at the download there. So there is a video walking you through uh, a number of different circuits that they provide there. I've got access to the, they've, they've asked me to do a video just walking through uh, the app and giving you know my feedback on it. Um, and the one that I have is the demo version. So it doesn't have all of the components that are available in this uh, YouTube video here. Uh, and it's pretty cool in, in that it gamifies uh, the looking at series and parallel circuits. And you, you'll see that you can use a voltmeter and ohmmeter to troubleshoot uh, a number of different circuits that they provide. So once you've logged in, then you'll have this web page right here. So again, it's cloud-based in that you can access it from home or you can access it in your lab. If you click on here, it says how to use the app. Um, you'll see as I go through, all of these will come up on the top of the page here. So these are where you create, you grab the voltmeter, remove the power. Uh, you can look at the schematic, there's a fault list and you can finish and submit or you can go back to the previous page there. When we're using the voltmeter or the ohmmeter, uh, it looks like you can grab each of these components and just drag them down to the different terminals within the circuit there. And you can also re remove the power uh, and then apply a lockout and tagout. And as mentioned, there's a uh, button right here and on each of the different circuits, you can click on the schematic for the wiring diagram that you're working off of. Okay, let's go back to the main menu. Okay, so not everything's available on the demo version that I've been provided access to. Um, but if we take a look at this practice lab number one, open circuits, you'll get a, a feeling for how it works. So if you click here to continue, it says click on the voltmeter to grab the leads. That's cool, so the voltmeter comes up, um, it's on DC voltage, and we've got these two components here. And it says by keeping the switch open, so this, oh, that's cool. So if you, if you close the switch, then it gets angry at you. So keep the switch open, okay? Uh, what's the voltage across the fuse with the switch open, okay? So it said that we grab this and go across the component. So if the switch is open, then we would have zero volts across that guy. Looks good. And it says, enter only the numeric characters that you're seeing on the meter. So we'll put a zero there. What's the voltage across the open switch? So with that guy, we've got uh, 12 volts across the open switch. If we close that, what happens there? Cool, then it goes to zero volts, okay? Uh, what's the voltage across the resistor with the uh, switch open? Well, that should be zero volts as well, right? So we go across here and you can see that it goes to zero volts. Interesting that um, it seems to keep the previous voltage. Like if I move these off, then I'm still at zero volts and it stays, no, and then it goes to 12 volts across that component. Very cool. So you can move these guys around and you can see voltages throughout the circuit. Very nice, okay, click on uh, here to submit your measurements. Cool, now it says now close the switch by clicking on it. Okay, so we'll close the switch. So it's it's cool, it's walking you through uh, the circuit in the open and the closed portion of the switch here. What's the voltage across the fuse? Okay, well that should still be uh, zero volts as long as we have no issue with the fuse. That looks good. Uh, what's the voltage across the closed switch? Okay, well now it's closed, so now it should be zero volts across that bad boy as well. Looks good. Uh, what's the voltage across resistor number one? Well, we have one source voltage at 12 volts. We have one resistor. So I would say that would be 12 volts across the first resistor. Nice. Keeping the switch closed. What's the voltage across any wire of the circuit? So any wire of the circuit looks like it is. And maybe like go across here and here, right? Okay, so that's zero volts. Okay, what's the voltage across the closed switch? Okay, that should still be zero volts across that guy. Looks good. Uh, and what's the voltage across resistor number one? Okay, very similar to the one that we looked at before, 12 volts. Cool. Okay, so now the, we have a faulty resistor. Uh, keeping the switch closed, what's the voltage across uh, wire W3? I like it. 
in that you had the circuit that worked, you're looking at the open versus the closed circuit. Now you've got a fault, and you're looking at the voltage on some of the components there. So across that guy, looks like we've got 12 volts across uh, W3. Okay, what's the voltage across the closed switch? So across that guy, it looks like we have zero volts in that we're missing that reference to the other side of the circuit. So zero volts there. Okay, what's the voltage across resistor number one? Well, it doesn't have a reference to this side, so let's see if that goes down to zero volts. Looks good. Cool. The, th the other things I would add would be, um, like, what's the voltage on the left side of the switch versus the right side of the resistor? That's cool. So zero volts over here, and then through the resistor, you'd get that 12 volts. Very cool. So number of questions here, but then you can also look at various voltages uh, throughout the circuit there. This one has an ohmmeter now, okay? So keep the switch uh, off, okay? And keep it open. What's the resistance across the fuse, okay? So now we can check, oh, that's cool. So it's showing you, don't be a donkey and use the ohmmeter on an energized circuit. So we wanna remove the power first, okay? Switch is open, uh, and now we want to check the uh, resistance across the fuse there. Okay, so the fuse looks good. So we got zero ohms on that guy. What's the resistance across the open switch? Okay, so that says it's an open. Just enter OL or the American. Okay, so OL. And what's the resistance across the resistor? Cool, we got 470 ohms there. But everything seems like it's cool. So we can submit our measurements. And then they're kind of showing you the circuit as it works and then with faulty components as well. So again, here you take the, uh, open up the switch, you'd have to remove the power and then check to see uh, that now the resistor has been replaced with one that is faulty. So let's remove the power and we want to turn the switch off Okay, and then we would be looking across components and across that guy, it looks like we have an open circuit there. Very cool. So now you can look at individual components uh, and look at voltages in different portions and then resistance values as well. Okay, let's go back to the main menu here. Looks like uh, we have short circuits that are available as well, uh, but not with the demo version. Okay, so we have short circuits that we can look at. Uh, there's a number of series circuits. So it looks like there's 14 different series circuits that we can go through as well. Okay, let's see if we have access to problems one to five here. Okay, use the voltmeter to find the faulty component. Okay, so we'll bring up the voltmeter here. Oh, this is cool. So it doesn't give us any information, just gives us the diagram. And then we have to figure out what the issue is here. Okay, so it looks like we do have power on the source, there's zero volts across the switch, which is, sorry, the fuse, which is good. Okay. And then it looks like we have the full source voltage across one of the resistors and nothing across R2 and R3 there. So it looks like we have an issue right here, right? Because these guys should sum to give us a source voltage, but all the voltage is across this bad boy right here, R1. Uh, so I'm gonna to go to the fault list here. I think it's an open circuit. And then here, the feedback that I would give would be to provide the diagram that I was just looking at. Because I, can, I, I have a short memory, so I can't remember what specific uh, circuit I was looking at. But I, I believe it was resistor one that was open. Cool, so it's very cool. So you get to go through the series circuits uh, and probably some parallel circuits. So if we go back here, there's 14 different circuits that you can go through. And there's troubleshooting of series circuits and troubleshooting of parallel circuits as well. So two modules here for the, the parallel circuits. And this one's not available on my, uh, my demo version. So very cool app, guys. I think it's uh, really cool. There seems to be, there's a final exam as well, most likely not available on the demo version. But once you've gone through uh, all of these um, open circuits, short circuits, series, and parallel, then you can do a final exam on everything that you've learned throughout in the app. 
I think it's a really cool add-on to uh, to classes in that you could have them do it um, supplementary to uh, to what you're teaching in the class. It gamifies uh, the learning as well, uh, and then you might I would say the teacher would have to do a little bit of a demo um, in showing you know specific things like in walking through the circuits just as we've done here. Um, but I think it's a really cool app and uh, and would really help to uh, to give the students a better understanding of the series and the parallel circuits. All right, guys, interested to think to hear what you think in the uh, comment section below. And uh, and thanks very much to uh, HDL Tech Solutions. I really appreciate the uh, the opportunity to take a look at your software um, and give uh, an unbiased opinion. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll see you guys on the next video.